So this is Munson Slew. He is a seven-year-old thoroughbred gelding. Um, he did not race, and he is owned by my dad, uh, who was very generous and gave me the ride on Munson uh, when my other horse, uh, Riot Gear, was injured. So here, I kind of had an impromptu uh, play session in his paddock. Oh, you can see it's a little... Weather has been really bad lately, but so he's a touch dirty. Um, and again, he was competed by my dad uh, to the prelim or the uh, one star level. And so I'm pretty excited to be able to compete him uh, this year, this coming year. And uh, so again, I'm just working on building my relationship with him. Uh, I've had him for about a month now, but I think it's really important to work on kind of subtle things in building the relationship with the horse. So here, like I said, I'm just kind of in his paddock, working with him, being comfortable with the stick. And um, I'm just asking him to kind of move forward. And it's a pretty cold, blustery day, so I'm really just working on just low energy. Um, I'm just wanting him to kind of connect and to focus on me and so here I'm kind of directing him with the stick just tapping the air just a little bit and then I give him a rub and I kind of like having this cone and barrel kind of in the pen because it can give them something to walk around or to focus and circle around and so see here, I'm still working on getting him to direct a little. He got a little spooked by the stick, but again, I'm kind of working on a really low energy, just working on getting the pattern of him changing directions and then me being able to touch the stick to get him to feel comfortable. It's as it being used as just a tool, an extension of my hand to help him be comfortable. He is kind of a little bit of an insecure horse. Um, he can be a touch spooky at times, and then he is not very confident in himself with certain things, as you can see there. So kind of this work is going to help build our relationship, um, especially when we go and compete. He had a, a couple of issues on a uh, cross country, so I'm hoping that we can do a little bit of work and make him, make him really confident and brave. And so again, I'm just working, like I said, really low energy. My body is really relaxed. Just wanting him to walk around. He's starting to get the idea. And I can start to feel him connect a little bit more and start to focus on what I'm asking, which is a good progression. So then I start to do where I call his name. And it took about a half a circle. And then once he stopped and turned, and then that's when I walked away to kind of increase the draw a little bit. And I got a nice deep breath and lick and chew, which is always good to get them processing and thinking. And now he's starting to lock on and want to follow and keeping his attention on me. And then I go back and give him rubs with the stick wanting to be able to increase the trust where I can touch him anywhere. And he's getting better. Here he got a little concerned and walked away, but not that big of a deal. He started to yield his haunches, and so I took uh, the pressure off a little bit, and we went back to our little follow game. He got another lick and chew. Now you might see the little white stuff on his hind legs, and that is a... Um, ointment that is meant to treat fungus called coat defense because he lived in Florida so he had a little bit of fungus so we're treating that and then you can see I go and touch the back legs that was much better so I'm just kind of playing around with a cue to get him to walk with my stick kind of horizontal and he wants to kind of change directions on his own there so you got a little concerned he started to Flare's nostril a little bit because he was getting a little confused. So I'm just going to try to be consistent. So I flipped. Then the little rope up. I wanted to do a little play with um, the line being attached to him. To 
kind of help him because he was getting a little stuck in that one spot where he just wanted to try to draw in. And then I'm going to try to get him to yield. He did a kind of a half yield and then he got nervous. And I'm just going to stay directing my eyesight straight to his hip bone and then I got the haunches to move away. And give him a nice rub and then I walk away so then I can get the draw again. And another lick and chew. He got tense right there. I'm not sure if there's just a little bit of wind or what have you. But I'm just really ignoring uh, when the tension happens and just staying really focused on staying a real relaxed energy. And then working on changing direction. I don't want him to turn in towards the panel. He kind of had a bad habit of turning away when he would get nervous or scared so his hind end would be towards me. So working on getting that two eyes and get that draw so you can get them to turn in towards you instead of away. And again this is pretty low energy stuff because the footing has been muddy and I didn't really want to get them amp him amplified up so it's a good type of play. And now he's starting to lock on pretty good. And he's paying attention to my space, which is nice. Give him a good rub for that. And so now here's some video of uh, me schooling Munson on a cross country. Um, working on just really making sure I stay out of his way and um, I had quite a fun time. He, ha he has a very fun uh, feel to him so it's nice when you are on a new or strange horse that you have a good connection with them because again this is all about trust. So um, really enjoyed schooling him and I'm really excited for the new year and what's in store for me and Munson Sloop. So make sure you keep an eye out for our helmet cams uh, for 2019 and we look forward to having fun.